can say we have 5% more meat, 5% more this, but also a lot less more to eat. Mr. Walters tell us that the complete, the complete investment he have paid back in only three batches. Three times the completely weeks. investment. Yeah. So more eggs, right? And uh, over a 50 weeks, over a year, that's a lot of eggs more uh, from this house. Right. So, yeah, the production. So less costs. That's better. But uh, the healthy of the birds is very important for us. Right. The health. Yeah. And the health uh, of your workers. The healthy of the workers. Too. The breath. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just yeah. the breathing. But, uh, we are. Uh, we work in this house for a half an hour a day. Half an hour a day, That's, yeah. Uh, of course, important, but the birds are here 24 hours. 24 right? hours, right. So they're breathing this. Yeah, it's important for, for the birds. Yeah. We, do, we do see reduction in antibiotic use by the farmers. By the farmers, yeah. yeah. Interesting. And that's actually, for farmers, the most interesting part. They are interested yeah. in, in medicine use or re the reduction of medicine use because that reduces the cost. Yeah. And it gives back and better quality. Yeah. Right. Well, in yeah. fact, it's and it, is a, it is a quality what uh, we want. Right. We want to have a um, nice quality meat or egg. Right. The new label what we want is pure nature. Right. Pure nature. And in the Dutch, it is pure nature. And the pure nature that means we we have from the beginning to the end an open, transparent supply chain. This mean, that means if you have a uh, buy by the grocery store uh, uh, a dozen of eggs and it is pure nature, you see on the label where it is made, yes, and you can ring, you can control or online, hey, that farm is half uh, on board like specially lamps, specially ionization. And that's pure nature. You know, what we want is to have a really pure, pure nature, nature yeah. line of production, yeah. controlling transparency, supply transparency, that, the, that yeah. the people can control us and our claims. In this case, there is no antibiotics in the period that right. the, the yeah. eggs were delivered to yeah. consumers. Right. But in this completely batch, in this barn, we have less problems with health by the chickens. And he is taking the nice view of us. You know, we have to shut the trouble and he make the profits. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>, well. <laughs> If you're in a, in a room like us, uh, find us in the air is not good for you. It's also the same for chickens and other domestic animals. Uh, they breathe in as well. So if, the, if you remove, if you have viral uh, compounds or bacteria in your barn in the air, yeah, the chickens inhale that and then you, the chickens get uh, diseases. Uh, if the viral is reduced, uh, they don't inhale that anymore. Can you say anything about the uh, effect of full spectrum light up to the uh, chickens? Well, we, we just talked about uh, the effect of uh, the light bulb. So there's a combination of ionization and full spectrum daylight. Uh, the effect we are talking about, reduction of fine dust, is merely done by ionization. Uh, if you're talking about other effects we have seen at farmers, and not just the uh, reduction of antibiotics, but also an increase of just production and I'm talking about uh, feed conversion um, and I'm talking about the mean weight of the chicken before they uh, are going to, be s going to be sold to the, the slaughter or um, uh, egg production so the amount of eggs they are uh, producing uh, we see an increase there as well um, so that's also very important for the farmers and that could be due to um, one, ionization, but also to the fact that these lights have full spectrum daylight. Um, we, we know that uh, there are certain um, colors, for instance blue and green, that can uh, enhance the immune system uh, or the growth of the chickens, but also red light that produces, <coughs> that induces the reproduction um, characteristics of, uh, of chickens. So by giving them full spectrum, you're giving them the full range of colors. Yeah. 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 And on, out of the literature, you can um, you can read that uh, by only a full spectrum range, you will make an activation of the penational eye that's between the brains. And on that moment, they're making vitamin D three. 
And that that's one of the things that we are we are going to look at is that these lights also produce a little bit of UV. So it's not just the monochromatic uh, visible light, but also UVA and UVB. And uh, that uh, we know that that produces vitamin D. And I know a lot of farmers say, yeah, but there is vitamin D in the feed, and it's already optimal. And uh, but um, but it's not as close to natural as you can no. get. I mean, if, they, if they make vitamin D by themselves, they create a lot of necessary hormones. Right. So that means, especially for the United States, you don't have to put hormones at feed. So, and Mr. Wallace have not this knowledge, but we have the knowledge already that we, this technology, are, we are using already for eight years in Schiphol Airport. Right. Uh, we have no chickens there, but human beings. Yeah, yeah. But the reason is the same. Everything is the same. 